Hey, what's going on? I've got another two disc comparison challenge for you today. We have the Meteor from Discraft, the P Waka Waka from RPM Discs. The Meteor is a 55 negative 31, P Waka Waka 66 negative 31, I believe. I'll put the numbers up for sure if I'm wrong. Rim profile. You can tell the Meteor's slower. Hopefully this audio isn't too bad. It's very windy. I had different plans for today uh, to film with these discs more review wise, but uh, that was not working. It was uh, like crazy tailwinds. I was not getting true flights out of any of these. So decided just to come play a little uh, challenge round with them. We're gonna see how we can shoot on like maybe five holes or something out here at the ridge. Let's try. We're going straight cold. Uh, we'll give Meteor the box since it's a uh, he walked up the home field advantage. We got a long putt for the P walk. But I'll putt from this for the P walk. All right, well, meteors on the box. Got the birdie with it, par with the P-Walk. Let's get some engagement in these videos, see if it helps them push up to the sky. What do you throw for this slot? If you don't throw a Meteor or a P-Walk Walker, what is that like neutral, understable uh, mid-range that you throw to get that hyzer flip to turn or straight? P-Walk is really nice. Meteor feels pretty good though. Let's go ahead and get them. Meteor is seeming to be at least really decent with uh, tailwind getting that flip up to go straight. Got a slightly longer putt with the P Waka Waka. I almost was going to say that I felt like the P Walk had a little bit of an advantage on this hole. Cause it is a tad bit faster, but I threw it low. But I think they're within like eight feet of each other. So we got putt for two for both of these. Yeah, baby. P walk got two. Now we got the meteor. Man, it's the best putts. All right, we're staying tied right now with the P-Walk and the uh, Meteor. Both at two under, so now we're to a par four. Actually, mid off the tee, to me, is aggressive. So I guess I'll be throwing the aggressive lines. Meteor first. That was so funny. I haven't taken the sticker off of that disc yet, any of the Discraft discs. Literally on my pull through, the sticker flew off. Freak me out. I'm going to pick that up. What kind of game are we playing here? I threw those to the exact same spot. Both spots suck. I have the P Waka Waka right here. About 10 feet in front of it is the meteor on the other side of that log. Uh, gonna be kind of touchy shots here. We're gonna see how it goes. I 
absolutely pured the meteor shot. I just got just a tad unlucky and hit a tree. One of the trees you have to miss in the fairway way down there. So that was going to be close to having a birdie look. Now it'll both be, hopefully, the P-Walk will be a harder bird, or par, but both have par looks. I'm thinking I'm going to have to do some sort of like touch forehand or something. That was the exact flight I was going to need. I could tell it was going to flip up and just ride softly. And I hit that tree. Great. How do you hit those trees so squarely? They're so small. What did I just take there then? Only one. I just took a six with the P walk. I think I took a par with the meteor. Yay. All right, well, that was kind of unfortunate. I gave myself a, well, I didn't really give myself a longer putt with the P-Walk. I hit the tree that was right in front of the meteor's line. It rolled me down, missed the putt. So I ended up actually taking a double on that one um, with the P-Walk, which I think puts me at plus one with the P-Walk. I think this is two under right now. Uh, we're on a little uh, par three now, so we're gonna, give the honors to the meteor again this is i think like 210 but it's a little uphill so mid is fine i usually throw putter but oh my god well it's in the middle dang it i haven't thrown this whole well in a little while go this one It's so straight. P-walks are so straight. That's what I'm I'm starting to see a difference between the meteor and the P-walk is the P-walk is a very effortless like hyzer flip up and it'll go straight like crazy. The meteor, I feel like you need to throw it a little bit harder. Well let's see if that sat. I'm not sure. But it got close to the back. That was really close. Well, that should be a tap in par. Ooh. This is potentially the last hole. I don't know, I might play one more after it, but if I don't, then. Right at the moment, uh, the Meteor is still in the lead. I think we're gonna just go maybe low power backhands at it. I don't think a forehand I can get to work right now with these. Hmm. It's not bad. It's not parked, but it ain't bad. Now it's the P-Walk's turn. Get in the basket. I don't know if that's parked or 20 long, but it was running the basket just for a second and then it didn't hyze her out. So straight and very effortless. We're still like a hundred out, so I'm gonna do like a putt with the meteor. Well, I parked it. 
So that should be a tap in. That pea walk was extremely close to getting the basket off the tee. That's a birdie for the pea walk. We got one back. Okay, so this will officially be the last hole for the Meteor and the pea walk challenge. There's the end of the pee walk probably for the challenge wise. I normally throw something over stable on this shot flat instead on hyzer. Well meteor, let's see what happens. Oh wow. Uh, I don't even know if there's a reason to finish out the hole. I might, but right there was the pee walk meteor challenge. You can see how they fly against each other and i think they do fly like different discs you can get some different shots out of them that the p walk i think is just ideal for like a super straight shot meteor is a slower uh straight shot but just needs a little bit more power to get the same straight line if that makes sense that's all we got thanks for watching though peace